What's going on guys, it's your boy Polar coming at you with a brand new video and today I'm bringing you guys the ultimate guide to the NVIDIA control panel settings, which will show you the best settings depending on which graphics card you may have. This guide is going to allow you to completely optimize your GPU drivers and allow you to get the best visuals and the most FPS possible. Even if you've done this recently, make sure you do stay till the end of the video as there have been a plethora of updates lately. And these mostly include some bug fixes, as well as some several anticipated new features. But if this video does end up helping you out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps my channel out a ton. Feel free to leave any questions, performance results, or comments as well um, down below, and I'll do my best to get to all of them. Um, but for all of you that do have an AMD GPU, I do have a settings video for that as well, and I'll be linking that down in the description for you. But without further ado, let's dive straight into that video. Alrighty, and the first thing we want to do is make sure that we do have the right driver downloaded and then it's the latest driver. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and make sure that when you can click on your desktop, this NVIDIA control panel does come up. If it does not, go ahead and go to the bottom left of Windows, search Microsoft Store, open it up, go to search, go ahead and type the NVIDIA control panel. Once this comes up, you can see it right here. You can go ahead and install it or download it and then it should be able to pop up right on that right click on your desktop if it was not there before and that's going to be a quick fix for most of you um, that should help a ton but for the main part we want to go ahead and open up our GeForce experience um, this can be opened up either through the bottom left of windows or as your icon on your desktop I'm going to go ahead and open it up here once this opens up um, you want to go ahead and click the drivers tab and as you can see, I do have a new driver that just released today and I'll be installing it after this video um, just for the sake of the video so I can get this out for you guys. Um, but you wanna go ahead and click the check for updates. As you can see, I do have a new driver. Once this um, is here, it's either gonna be the latest driver or it's going to have a new one. You wanna go ahead and download this. When you download it, make sure you do a clean install. Um, it's gonna make sure that you don't have any residue from the other drivers on your computer still. Um, but once you do that, you should be good. Um, for those of you that can't get to this or it doesn't give you the latest driver, we're gonna go ahead and go to the NVIDIA um, website with the drivers. So I'll provide the link to this down in the description. Um, once you're here, you wanna go to the task manager as well, go to performance, go to the GPU tab, and just double check that you do have the right graphics driver or the right graphics card. So for me, I have a 2080 Super, um, which I recently bought. So it's uh, fresh out of the oven. So once you're on this website, you're going to do a manual driver search. As you can see, we're going to do the GeForce, the 20 series. We, I, it's not the notebook, so we're going to do the normal 20 series. We're going to find the 2080 Super. We are on Windows 10, 64 bit, English, and then we want to just do all. We're going to start the search and it should come up with the newest and latest driver and a list of all the old drivers. This is how also you're going to revert your drivers if you want to go back to an older one. Um, if you do have any problems with the newer driver, for you are get lower FPS, um, which does occasionally happen just because these aren't tested too much before they are released. And it does uh, depend on game that you are playing. So as you can see, the new drivers are here. You can go ahead and click it and do the same thing, download here and run it. Um, but yeah guys, the main thing is you want to make sure that you are on the latest driver I would recommend updating your driver at least like once every two to three weeks Just to make sure that you are up to date and it is supporting your latest games at the best performance possible Alrighty guys, so now that we're up to date with the latest driver You can go ahead and open that control panel once we go ahead and open it up We can go ahead and hop to that very first tab under 3d settings the just image tab with preview we're going to go ahead and slide this bottom tab all the way to the left for performance this is going to help us get a little bit more fps while we're playing um, at the sacrifice of minimal quality um, the next thing we want to do is go to the main 3d settings tab this is going to be your most important part of the video right here and you want to make sure you follow each step specifically as i have it to get the best fps possible so for me i personally have image sharpening on 0.50 as well as ignore film grain on 0.17 this is going to help your game look a little bit better than it actually is rendering at just 
because the image is gonna be a bit sharper, so it's gonna look a bit cleaner. I do recommend turning this on, and then also make sure you have GPU scaling on as well. This is gonna take away black bars when you're playing stretch resolution in any game, and it's gonna have minimal to no effect while you're playing on a native resolution. So you can go in and make sure that is clicked on OK. Ambient occlusion, you wanna put this on performance. Anisotropic filtering, make sure you turn this off. Anti-aliasing FXAA to make sure this is off. Gamma correction, and turn this off. Then for anti-aliasing mode, we wanna make sure that this is off as well. CUDA GPUs, make sure this is turned to all. All right, and for DSR factors, this is actually going to be a way for you to be running at a higher resolution than your monitor displays. So if you're not a casual gamer and you're looking for that, all of that FPS, I do recommend turning this off. Unless you're looking for that higher resolution, then I recommend putting this on on and whatever you would like, um, however detailed you would like your game to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then for low latency mode, this is actually going to be the most important tab in here. <coughs> Ooh. I'm getting over sickness, sorry. So for the low latency mode, we're gonna go ahead and put this on ultra. And this is going to allow us to take away some input lag and boost FPS just a little bit. And this is only recommended if you have like more than 80 FPS or 60 FPS while you're playing. Um, otherwise this could um, take some stress on your CPU and actually lower your frames. Um, so you can do some testing with this if you're right on the border. Otherwise, if you're more than 80 frames in a game, I recommend turning this on ultra. And you should notice a difference in the input lag. It should be a little bit less and more responsive. For the max frame rate, we're going to go ahead and set that to off. Monitor technology. I do not have a G-Sync compatible monitor, so we're going to put this on face to refresh. Multi-frame sample to AA. We're going to turn this off. OpenGL rendering GPU. We want this on our GPU. Once you're on power management mode, we want this on maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate, we want the highest available. Shader cache, we want on. Texture filtering, go ahead and turn this on. Negative LOD bias, you want to put this on allow. Quality, we want this on high performance. Trilinear optimization, we want this on on. Threaded optimization, we want this on auto. Triple buffering, we want to turn this on off. Then vertical seat, we want always off. Virtual reality, Three rendered frames, we want on one. These two don't really matter. And then we want to turn the last one off as well. That's just for VR headsets. Then once you've done all that, you can go ahead and click apply. And we can go ahead and hop to the configure sound and physics tab. Go ahead and turn this to the um, your GPU right here. This is going to take some stress and bottleneck off of your processor. It's going to make your game look a bit better as well. And you can go ahead and apply that. And then you can go to the change resolution tab. The key here is make sure you're running on the resolution that you desire for both monitors. Make sure you are on the highest refresh rate for both as well. Then once you've done that, go ahead and hop down to the bottom. Use the NVIDIA color settings and go ahead and set both of these to full instead of the limited option. This is going to make your game um, look a bit better. It's going to give you a wider range of colors to use and give you more vibrance in each game. Um, the next thing, you can go to the adjust desktop color settings. Here we're going to be kind of doing the same thing. Um, we're going to change this for each monitor. I personally put this on 70% to make your game look more vibrant. Um, I personally prefer it. You can go ahead and tweak this if you'd like. I put this on 70 and for both of my monitors. So make sure if you're playing on two, you do this for both. Then you can go ahead and skip rotate display. You can go ahead and skip this tab as well. Skip digital audio. <clears throat> and then we're going to go to adjust desktop size and position. Once we're here, you can go ahead and see all of these options. The key here is just make sure you're playing on the highest refresh rate as well and your desired resolution for both of your monitors. And then we can go to the setup G-Sync. For here, I do not recommend using G-Sync if you're getting over about 60 or 80 FPS as well, um, just because it can give you some input lag and lower FPS. However, if you are at like that 60 FPS range, I do recommend tweaking this and trying it. Um, this could make your game actually a bit smoother um, just because of the way the refresh rate is gonna work with your monitor. So I would do some testing with this if you're on that border as well, and this should help you lower tier gamers um, with the lower NPCs. Um, I feel your pain. I just recently upgraded so you can test this out as well. Then we're going to go ahead and skip all the way down to the um, set 
uh, actually we're just gonna go to the next tab to set up multiple displays from here you're gonna check all your monitors that you want to use and then you can just arrange them how you'd like for me I have my uh, second monitor on my right hand side I can move this to the left hand side if I'd like I'm just gonna leave it right here for now then adjust the video color settings I'm gonna go to the advanced tab once you're here we're gonna change this from limited to full for both of the monitors this is gonna give you a wider range of colors to use make the game look a bit more vibrant and we're gonna go ahead and apply that we're gonna go to the image settings tab and just make sure these settings are the same as well. And that should be it pretty much for the NVIDIA control settings video. As long as your drivers are up to date and you do have these settings, you should be good to go to get the most FPS possible on that GPU. The only other thing I would look into is how to overclock your GPU, which I will be making a video on again as well. Um, but thanks guys for watching. Um, I do recommend joining my Discord if you have not already. Um, you can actually ask me any questions here anything you need um you can chat with me and my community which you are also a part of my admins and stuff like that so as you can see we have a pc questions tab where you can ask anything you need um last night i went and answered a bunch of questions here as you can see i'll get to all of you just give me a little bit of time and i'll be there i also have video suggestions a self promo tab some memes and just a general chat and then i have my socials and stuff up here to keep up with me i do recommend joining um this is a tight kit knit community and everyone's here to try to help each other out um so yeah guys but that's it pretty much for the video if you did uh see a little bit of performance please make sure you leave a like comment subscribe i appreciate all of you it's been the world to me for hitting seven to eight, uh 7k subscribers it's unreal to me i appreciate all of you thank you so much um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you all. Peace.